see what you got. Nice kick. Uh, that better? Good, but not good at that. Yo, I finally got what I wanted. Mike Barnes returns to Cobra Kai season five. Get ready. I'm waiting for a, a trailer, something. But they put pictures out yesterday and they show Sean Kanan. What was he like? Something like that, right? They got it ready. This man is going to kill it. I know this because I got to know Sean a little bit better. And this man is a fantastic individual, good human being, and one hell of an actor. And I'm telling you, he's going to bring it. Get prepared. Get prepared. I'm warning you. You're going to be shocked when you see what he does on film. Just like Thomas Ian Griffith did. Sean and Thomas both. The writing on Karate Kid Part 3 was so horrible. Well, I don't want to say that because I'm not a writer. So I don't know if it was bad or not. I just know that these two gentlemen are much more than what they, were, they portrayed themselves to be in Karate Kid 3. These two guys can act the shit out of stuff, okay? These two guys can act better than anyone else I've ever seen. This is including the Tom Cruises and all these other guys. I love them all. But Sean Kanan and Thomas Ian Griffith, Griffith always mess up his name, these two gentlemen can act, man. And you saw it in season four, how different and versatile the Thomas was. Well, you've got it backwards because I am your strength. I have been your strength ever since Vietnam. Yes, there it is. I can always count on you playing the guilt card. How many times do you expect me to repay that debt before we swear? <laughs> What did you do? I'm shedding my weakness. Captain. John Kreese, you're under arrest for aggravated assault and attempted murder. You have the right to remain silent. John, what did you do? Hands behind your back. Come on. Hey, hey. Nah, take, take it easy. So worry about a thing. I'm sure I can dig up an old friend or two to help out with Cobra Kai while you deal with your legal problems. You're gonna regret this. Well, wait till you see what Sean does. I've watched Studio City. I know what he can do, um, you know, in any role. I've seen it. All right. He's also on it's Sean Kanan, also on The Bold and Beautiful. The man is versatile. And now he's bringing all that versatility right to our favorite show, Cobra Kai. So let's get ready. I said in the past that he was coming back season four. It didn't happen. Season four. Terry Silver comes back. Mark Barnes at least shows up at the end. And then season five, Mike Barnes is just, he's had enough. He's had enough. He, he's seen too much crap. Okay. He, in my opinion, he owns 50% of the dojos. So if there's one, half, like a divorce. But I knew he was coming back. You just feel it. The man is the best villain in any of the villains. And this includes Johnny, because Johnny wasn't a villain. Karate Kid 1, Johnny Lawrence. He was the typical bully, but he wasn't a villain. The man just had problems. He, he had daddy issues. We found that out in Cobra Kai. I didn't know he had daddy issues back in, in Karate Kid. But we know that now. Well, when we got to Karate Kid 2, we had Chosen. Come on, fight to the death. What are we talking about here? You had two 17 and under kids fighting in Okinawa to death. Karate Kid 3. That's the one that really should have been Karate Kid 2. The chosen one should have been Karate Kid 3. It just makes sense. Fight Johnny, win the championship. Fight Mike Barnes, defend the championship. Fight chosen to the death? Why the hell not? That was the order it should have been. But the writers did something different. It is what it is. We get them back now, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to show you a quick scene, all right? A quick scene from Studio City. This is the pilot, season one of Studio City, and you know right away that Sean is bringing it here, okay? He knows how to act, and I'm going to show you this right now. Ready? Studio City, created by Sean Kanan and Jason Antonoli. 
Yeah, but I don't give a shit what Paul says about the internet. I've got the network breathing down my neck and they're threatening to start by cutting at least 10 crew positions. We need to talk. Hold on. <laughs> I told Sean this. This Gloria uh, uh, character, oh my gosh. She's fantastic. The actress, oh, fantastic. Here's Sean. Mom, I gotta call you back. Sam, good. Are you here to sign your contract? You know, Gloria, I, I know we do our little dance and we trade barbs and insults, but I always thought you respected me. Oh, yeah. I mean, hiring a, a second-rate underwear model, this guy Nick Cassidy's my replacement. Replacement? I was thinking rival, but now that you mention it. Okay, is this a, a little contract negotiations ploy? I mean, do you want me to quit? Badly. But what are the chances? Not sure. Sam, you have been phoning it in like you're some sexy 22-year-old firefighter on Chicago Gray or whatever. Today's viewer, they all have flat screens, and that includes prisoners and hospital patients. So, so what, you bring in some cut-rate Sam Stevens? Let me remind you that for the last two years, I've been the Soap Opera Fan Awards runner-up, okay? America loves Dr. Pierce Hartley. Yeah, but you're distracted. So, you've got three weeks to bring your A-game, or... You're wearing an orange jumpsuit. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, distracted, because I would never, ever do anything to, to take away from what I do here on the show. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to do other you things. You want to be an action star? You're goddamn right I do, and I could be an action star. If you didn't kick, you... Oh, Sammy. You know I love you to bits, but do you actually need me to remind you that you're just too old? <laughs> Or can you yourself see? Look, there it is. There it is. The good ship SS Nick Cassidy set himself. <laughs> so you will be at that fan event. You'll sign autographs and pat people on the head. Or Pierce will be a corpse instead of a killer. And honey, that's because I love you. I love the look at the end there. <laughs> I'll tell you the barbs, the barbs and the the uh, the banter between the two of them. Uh, these two are fantastic together. The Gloria character. Oh gosh, she's funny. Uh, her the the actress is actually uh, Carolyn Hennessy. So if you ever want to see some good acting, Carolyn Hennessy, she's fantastic. That's another one. And I will tell you, Carolyn Hennessy. And Sean Kane and playing off each other, that was fantastic. Gloria against Sam, I love it. Anyway, so back to Cobra Kai. Here's some, all right, here's some pictures, right? Here's one of them. This is, uh, it looks like they're inside the Cobra Kai studios. And now, apparently they have, a, I don't know, tens or hundreds of Cobra Kais throughout the valley and probably throughout California. So this is one where they're doing some... Um, they're doing some kicks and doing some practicing here. Okay. Now this is interesting because this is Terry Silver. Looks like a Terry Silver's house. And he's with Amanda LaRusso. Mm, I don't know. All right, there he is. Urgh, Sean Kanan. Mike Barnes looking angry right here. Now, I think if we go back to here... This is at Terry Silver's house. Well, I'll tell you, that's got to be at Terry Silver's house too. So this scene and the, and the previous scene here have to be connected, guaranteed. All right, there he is. My man, Sean Kanan. Mike Barnes, baby. I just want to point out, he's married. See the ring on his finger there? That's something we need to pay attention to because one thing I do know is that Marriage changes a man. And if he's there in a nice suit wearing a, a, a wedding ring, he has a wife that put him back together. And I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be that bad of a guy. He might not be the bad boy of karate after all. Oh, this is going to get interesting. All right, more practicing. Apparently, we have a new uh, studio leader wearing a black belt. Seems like everyone's a black belt. I'm looking for some white belts, red belts. No, nope, no, nope, I don't see any there. 
Now, this is another scene where, man, bringing Chosen, this is interesting, Chosen, Daniel LaRusso, and Johnny Lawrence together. Now, I don't know who these other people in the back are, but apparently they're part of the crew now. But these three together, this is interesting. Very interesting. I can't wait to see what comes of this. Now, this is unfortunate. The fact that they're showing Robbie in with the crew, I don't know, man. I think they should have left Robbie out of this picture right now. What do you think? This is a good scene. What's Robbie doing with Miguel? And who is this? Just some random lifeguard dealing with them fighting? Probably. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here, man. This is going to be cool. All right. And then, of course, Tori, mad. Tori's mad that she knows now that that trophy is, uh, was bought and paid for. Probably not a good thing. So we'll see what happens. My man, Mike Barnes, ready to kick some ass. Later.